Okay, y'all. So I've been seeing this spam all on TikTok, all on YouTube. Um, and it seemed fun to me. It seemed interesting. So for a couple months, I have been trying to find this because I'm like, I want to try it. Y'all know that I'm a foodie. I love to cook. I love to try different things. Um, so today I was out doing my grocery shopping for my Sunday dinner. And I was like, let me see if this particular place might have it. Lo and behold, they had it. Now, I got turkey spam because we do not eat pork. Okay. So I had to go to the ingredients just to make sure. Okay. And this turkey, turkey broth, saw modified potato starch, super sodium phosphates, uh, nitro sodium nitrate. So this is a turkey. No pork in this. So I'm going to attempt to make some turkey sliders using some spam. I have never had spam in my life, even as a child. Apparently, this is considered a struggle meal for when you don't have food in your cabinets and in your refrigerator and in your freezer. But baby, we stay with food, okay? There is never a time when my household does not have food. I just want to see what's to this. So, let me go ahead and start preparing it. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and crack this open. Oh my god. It looks disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Oh, it smells like oh cat food or something. But we gonna lean with it and rock with it. <laughs> we gonna lean with it and rock with it. Uh this is that. I am going to Take my pan that I'm going to fry it in. And I guess, oh, okay, that's definitely way, way in there. Let me get me a butcher knife, perhaps. I want to kind of loosen the sides a little bit. Okay, try to get this. Oh, I got the can. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, there we go. Add that. And this is what it looks like. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is turkey spam. Um, what I'm going to do is I am. I'm trying to see how should I slice this because I'm going to do it pretty thick. So I'm going to slice probably about here. Oh, this is so uneven. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's this one. And then I'm going to slice it two more times because I'm going to make, I'm going to attempt to make three sliders. Uh, okay. And there's that part. So we have cut the spam into three fractions. We cut it into three portions. These are pretty thick pieces of meat. Okay, so I went ahead and cut these into six fractions um, because the slider bread that I have is pretty tiny. And those big pieces was not going to fit well on this side of bread. So, we now have six pieces of Spam turkey. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to season that. Okay, I, I, I got to have some seasoning on this. So, I'm going to just season it with this adobo boya. The red one. That's the red one. 
red top. Then I'm going to season it with the Adobe Boy Goya blue top. You know, try to kick a little flavor to this because so far, this looks horrible. This smells horrible. And baby, I'm just not feeling it so far. I'm fine with you. Yeah. But we gonna see. We gonna see. Season this up real quicky quick. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my tur my seasoned turkey spam, lay it down in this pot or this pan right here that I already had um, preheated with some grape seed oil. So this is what I'm gonna cook these in. And I guess I'm gonna cook them two at a time. Maybe I can get three in here. Ooh, yeah, that's a little yeah, hot. So I'm gonna do three at a time. So I've been cooking these for a while now. Um, I wanted mine a little crispy, so I kept mine in a little bit longer than usual. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. So now I am going to go ahead and just toast these a little bit. They smell a little bit better, way better than when I took them out the pan. Now, I've already coated the bottom of my pan with some, um, I believe it's not butter. So I can go ahead and toast these um, slider buns. And I am going to let these toast just enough for the cheese to melt. I'm using Gouda cheese. Oh, hold on. I'm using Gouda cheese. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of fold these in here like that. So I can fit there, there, there. And I am going to put this in the oven and let it toast, take it out, and I'll show y'all the finished product. Okay, so it definitely did not take long for this cheese to melt, as y'all can see. Now, I got some chopped lettuce right here that I seasoned. I got all my ingredients that I'm gonna put on top and we're gonna put it together and I'm gonna show y'all the finished product. Okay, here's the finished products. Okay, there's the Spam Patty all the way at the bottom. I got my cheese, my mustard, my ketchup some seasoned lettuce, I added a pickle, I got some guacamole and some tortilla chips. Now we are going to go ahead and taste it. Okay, here's my Spam slider. Okay, you have the Spam meat, the Gouda cheese, all the fixings on top. I kinda wanna just taste the meat first. Let me see. I can get a chunk of that meat. You see? Mmm. Mmm. That's not bad. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. The meat is actually not bad. I'm glad I seasoned it. Um, It tastes like turkey okay let me go ahead and bite mmm 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 this is good y'all it's good it's good mm-hmm wow this is not bad. This is not bad at all. It tastes like a turkey club, like a, a turkey burger or something. Mmm. 
Not bad at all. How about yours? Did you like it? It was good. It was good. Not not all of that, but it what, tastes like the regular turkey salad. What would you rate this <clears throat> on a scale one to ten? Maybe a seven. Okay. Because it tasted on What about two hundred? Mm -hmm. I didn't like it. You don't like it? No. What it tastes like to you? It tastes like there's like too much cheese on there. I can like only taste the cheese. It's you say what? I can only taste the cheese. You could you couldn't taste the meat? I can only taste the cheese and the taste is bad. Oh, you don't like the Gouda cheese? Mmm. Okay. Well, you don't have to finish it with. I rated a two. Hey, I was gonna ask you, what did you rate? You don't like it? You rate a two? Okay. I'll make you something else. But for me and for Sukkah, we like it. Mmm. This is pretty good. So, so, spam is supposed to be considered a struggle meal, meaning something that you have in your cabinets for like towards the middle end of the month when you don't have maybe when you run out of food stamps and when you don't have a lot of money to, you know, you just barely making it. I guess spam is like supposed to be a struggle meal. That you can make all kinds of different meals with. Me personally, I feel like this can be lunch, dinner, Breakfast, you can make sausages. It's just, I got so many ideas that I think I want to try now with this turkey spam. Um, I don't know. For some people, I guess it can be considered a struggle meal, but for me, I'm just gonna keep experimenting with it. Like, I'm gonna keep making different meals. I've seen so many videos of people making bacon with the different types of just you know combinations of meals. I like them. This is my first time ever. I've never had it before. And it's, it's pretty good. I wouldn't say a struggle meal. I would say a lazy meal. When you don't feel like getting out the ground turkey or something, you just got the spam, the uh, turkey spam right in the cabinet. You could just make you up a burger, make you up, you know, anything. I give it. Mm. Honestly, y'all, I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten because it's all about what you make it. It's all about how you put it together. You know, when I was looking at videos on YouTube, I didn't see a lot of people seasoning their meat. I didn't see a lot of people do it. You know, I, it, it just depends on what you make the meal. I made this a 10, baby. Mm-hmm. 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 And it's good. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10 for me. Mm-hmm.